All right, let's do this. Boom. Um. Ooh. 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 Okay. I'm liking what the game is giving me. Okay. Okay. Um. How do we? Uh. How would we do this though? We could put that there. Sword, Goobert, shield. Like so. But I would like to turn this into like a you know, like a shield shield, like a like a like a spike shield. You know what I mean? Um. Let's roll. Um, should we rock shovel is the question of the day. I actually don't know. I don't know if we should rock shovel. We could also get the garlic and put it there. Or, well, yeah, that would work too, right? Boom, and then boom. That way we can get ourselves a spike shield and get those uh, the two activations. We just won't get an activation because of the garlic, though. Which, honestly, I don't think is a problem. Um, only thing is, should we get a shovel? That's the only thing. I love my shovel. I love my shovel. We would have to buy the pan, though. We can reserve pan, get shovel. Um. I think we do. I think we do. Let's put down the clover and let's get the garlic in there. Reserve the shovel. Next round, we'll get the shovel and hopefully we can get or next round, we'll get the pan and hopefully we can get ourselves a shovel Um, next round as well. But this guy, he's got the pond, three little foods on him. Poison's gonna be out the buns. There's no way we can out heal this dude or out DPS him. We only got the wooden sword. Um, we, only, we just gotta, yeah. <laughs> there was no way we we're gonna win that at all. Good game, good game, good game. Boom, we got the shovel, which is nice. Let's buy both of those. We also got ourselves the healing potion. I can reserve that. And we also got ourselves a banana, which is pretty solid. The only thing we need right now is space. Um, we might even lose this next round, honestly. But it'll be okay because we're mainly using this round just to get the shovel. That's our main purpose this round is to get the shovel. I say we rock something like this just to get the shovel. Like that, that's all I care about right now is just the shovel. Let's get the banana for next round. Um, keep the health potion on us as well. So yeah, dude's got the wooden buckler. He's got pond. He's getting himself a shovel as well. Garlic with the flying garlic. As far as poison goes, it's going to be there. Um, I don't think there's really anything we could do about this one. Except out heal, maybe. But even though, even with the goober, there's no way we out DPS, dude. No way. Good game, though. Boom. Got ourselves a shovel. And we got ourselves another lucky clover. So I'm going to be looking for that bow and arrow. Uh, we got ourselves a walrus tusk, which we could turn that into the claws of attack. Potentially, if we can get ourselves the, uh, the gloves. So we're going to get the lucky clover. That's a no brainer. We need that. Let's get the fanny pack because we need space as well. Um we can put that there we can move that over put the shield in there as well um and then maybe rock the sword here plus the garlic or we put the sword in here for that crit because you never know you know you could crit and then we could just rock that like so uh, and then we could just buy the potion for next round. Let's reserve the... Oh, honestly, do I want to reserve the Walrus Trust in order to get the cause of attack? I actually don't know. Let's not. Let's not do it. Let's not do it. Let's not do it. Let's not. I feel like the cause of attack is pretty solid, but I feel like there's just... For four gold, I feel like there's better uh, better things I could buy. Um, but yeah, so this dude, he's got the hammer, which is pretty interesting. As far as DPS goals, it's going to be there, especially if we get stunned like that. But uh, I think... I don't know who's going to take this is going to be a close one. I don't know who's going to take this one. It looks like it's going to be him, though. Mainly, probably because of survivability, having double garlic plus double banana. I think won him that and then the regeneration as well. Probably did it. Good game, though. Good game. But now we got space, which is good. So we can uh, use up our potions and everything like that. Let's move this down by one. Put that there. And then we could uh, all this list by this space as well and then we could put that there put the banana inside like so um we could sell that i just want to use my potion so i'm gonna put the potion there and then we could put both of our clovers in these single spots like that i think that is solid and we get oh we can re-roll oh there goes the bow and arrow which we need let's get ourselves another or let's get ourselves our own regeneration um and then we could just rock bow and arrow plus the shovel, sell the sword next round. Hopefully we can get some space because the shovel requires or the bow and arrow requires a little bit more space than we have right now. Um, but this guy's got the pond. He's got four things of food on him. Spike shield. It's a little bit interesting. So we're going to 
that's gonna be a problem and then he's also got the shovel of his own but we i think we out heal him for sure because of the goober we already used up our health potion which is actually concerning that means he did dps enough for us to even use our health potion hold up now we might lose this one too this is gonna be a close one but i mean it's in our favor so far okay yeah we take that one home good game good game that was a little interesting how our health potion got used so early there um but yeah buy that um now we gotta figure out a way to actually put you on something like this um which we might just have to sacrifice a goober activation for it like that it's a little bit more space up there than i would like but i mean we could turn those around like that i guess that works and then boom put both of the clovers down of course um and then health potion would work and then we could sell this for regeneration like that and hopefully next round we get more space so we can actually utilize our food that we have i don't want to sell the food just yet so this guy's got double sword double walrus tusk a little interesting um he's got critical we should we should out dps him and i think we out heal him as well so yeah we taking this one home for sure yeah nice little w thank you sir um oh there goes some space and then we also got a corrupted crystal that's on sale we're not we're not using the pescalus flask even though it's on sale there's nothing really we do we, we don't benefit from poison <laughs> that's all it is we just don't benefit from poison um we could turn that boom put the garlic in there um and we could put our potion up there let's get this guy we could just rock that wherever we want him to and we'll roll for oh we got ourselves a gym box of riches which is nice we can also get the carrot just so that you know potential of getting empowerment i guess um and we could put that on you i don't think we need double garlic but i'm not i'm not ready to sell it just yet just yet you never know not ready to sell it yet so this guy's got the hungry blade he doesn't have any form of regeneration um which is good for us he's got a lot of poison though a lot of healing a lot of poison that he's going to be dealing to us which is a little bit scary but if we can out dps and before that happens i think we win um which it looks like is happening for now but i mean 11 poison so far is not nice fate is kicking in there goes our corrupted crystal oh there we take the we take the w thank you sir um so i know i want the box of riches i know i want that for sure uh, we could sell the pocket sand. I don't think I want that. I do want the blueberries and I also do want the carrot. I just don't know if we have space for it. So stamina sack for sure. That's going to be bought. And then we can... Uh, what do we turn it like that? And that way we can rock our garlic in there. Like that. I think it's nice. Um, and we could just buy the fanny pack or we could buy the... Well, if we buy the blueberries, we don't really have anywhere to put it. So I say we buy fanny pack here um, and put it there just to make the the Fortuna's Grace a little bit faster. We can also just put that in there as well and make that a little bit faster. Um, and we'll reserve both of those because we're going to buy them next round. And hopefully we get a little bit more space. I think it would be good. I wish I could have me an acorn collar, sir. But this dude's rocking. He's got health potions out the buns. So that's a little concerning. I didn't even know they gained Pierce interesting i didn't know they gained thorns from the stone skin potion until now wow huh that's a thing but we win <laughs> surprisingly we win oh this is on sale hmm i would buy this but i feel like this mainly benefits from carrots and blueberries which we don't have we have them in the shop but we need a lot more than just one blueberry or one carrot to benefit from that so i think we rock the piercing arrow and then we could just replace the piercing arrow with our health potion right there which would be good um and let's buy both of you roll for space there we go love to see it this guy's on sale which is actually beautiful um we could put that there and let's put you where do you want to go where do you want to go let's put you here move that upwards like so and then we could just replace it like that and now we could put food in this area that we need or even put the health potion here as well, which we could do both um, like that. That way this can have an activation as well. 3.5 seconds getting 10% faster because of the carrot. And um, we can rock that like there, combine both of those. We also got the hungry blade, which we can replace the hungry blade with our shovel, which is an option that we have. 
um which honestly i think we should do we just can't right now because we don't have the money we also don't have the regeneration so that's a thing um but even so i feel like it would be better to do that versus having the shovel in my opinion so i think that's what we'll do i think that's what we'll do next round um yeah i think that's what we do next round we can still benefit from it if we can just get some vampirism on a lot of things so yeah i think that's what we'll do so this dude oh he's I, I, it's very rare where i see a dagger build very very rare so i'm a little bit excited that i'm seeing one and i'm probably gonna lose to him too wow surprised i didn't lose to him right there 22 poison on us right which is pretty insane probably because of the spikes because of all those daggers doing damage to us also did damage to him let's see the log see um how much damage we did to him as far as spikes go we did 52 damage of spikes right there so yeah <laughs> we benefit a lot from uh from 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 him having daggers um which is really good we'll keep that on there everything here i want to buy let's yeah let's sell the shovel get the ripshaw blade um we could sell the garlic for the book of light we also want to have the amulet well everything here i just don't know if we have enough money for it so let's sell the garlic buy the book of light it's on sale we're also generating a mod. I don't know if we're generating enough to use invulnerability, but the healing is good. And that's pretty much the only reason, just because of healing. I also want the flute, but I'm pretty sure we don't have any spot to even put the flute. Even if we wanted to. Or maybe we do, and I just don't know it. Let me see here. Let me see here. Let me see here. I'm just going to, I'm just going to experiment a little bit here. Let's move this move everything down by one we can replace that put that there let's see, we could put the flute here that's my idea right is putting the flute there oops um and that'll have that many slots and then we also have a few we have a we had a few slots we can use yeah let's get the flute let's get the flute um and then we can just we just need to replace those slots up there with with items right so we could do that actually no i just because we need the book of light to go there Ooh. okay because we need we need to do this for the book of light the book of light needs to be in a place somehow so we realistically only have two slots that we can use for the flute um which i guess is okay not ideal not ideal but I guess it'll just have to do something like that and then we'll put that there so really we, we just need slots at this point let's set a banana for this yeah that works hopefully we, hopefully we get some more backpack space next round hopefully hopefully um so this guy's got a lot of food a lot of food and a lot of poison a lot of regeneration he's got healing out the buttons he's not out dpsing us but he does have a lot of healing, which we probably shouldn't more than likely be worried about. But I think we take this home because we out DPS him. I think. Yeah, for sure. There we go. There we go. Nice little, nice little W. Thank you. Oh, we got the acorn collar, which we definitely need a lot. And we got the regular. We didn't get space though, which is a little, con or a lot, a lot concerning. Um, but let's sell you. Get the amulet, get the collar. Collar can go there to feed the hungry blade. This guy can go on the shield, and then we can combine that for that. Roll. Still didn't. Well, we got that space, which will help us. We can sell the pocket sand to buy that. Put that there. Getting another blueberries to feed the book of light would also be good. Just trying to figure out if there's anything I could put up there. Uh, we could put the clover up there. We could put the regeneration up there. Um, we could actually switch those two to make it a little bit faster. I think that's good though. Well, no, we can't because. Oh no, no, never mind. Yes, we can. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. I think that's good. Yeah, I think that's good. Um, considering the Dijon lamp right now, but I, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. We'll just rock that. And another dude with the Hungry Blade, but this guy also has the Hero Longsword. Combining that with the Spear, 
Oh, the wood vampiric gloves. Oh, making that guy faster and the spear faster as well. That is interesting. And he's also got nine vampirism. So as far as healing goes, I think he has us beat. I think he has us beat, but we do have DPS out the buns right now. We got DPS out the buns. And if we get ourselves 10 mana, we win. Or if we just keep critting like that, we win. And one more. Boom, there we go, we win. All right, boom, nice. So let's go ahead, ooh. Getting a pineapple could be interesting. I don't think we do it though. I don't think we do it. Um, corrupted crystal, stamina sack, all interesting. Pass, gloves of haste, yes. Definitely buy a gloves of haste. Another carrot would also be good. Definitely buy another carrot. Let's put that there. We could get the carrot goober now. For the empowerment. But we gain empowerment from the carrots anyways. And the, the empowerment from the carrots is permanent. We got options. <laughs> we got options. Let's roll. Um, Damn, I need space. That's the main reason why I'm rolling right now is for space. Which we did get a potion belt, which will help us. I believe. Yeah, potion belt helps us. So let's. Yeah, okay. Let's buy the potion belt. Um, let's get the lucky clover as well. And we can put the this here to make the flute a little bit faster. Or we could try to make the book of light a little bit faster. It's either the flute or the book of light, I believe. Or we could try to make the Hungry Blade a little bit faster. I think we make the Fortuna's Grace a little bit faster. <laughs> Everything needs to be a little bit faster, but I think I, I truly do think we make the Fortuna's Grace a little bit faster. I think that's a better play here. Oh, I didn't come back down here. I need to use you, I think, for something. Yeah, I need to. Yep. Yeah. Ah, thank you. We'll just put you there. Um. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's good. Making the Fortuna's, uh, Fortuna's Grace here, I think, is better than making any of the other items faster because this is our main dps and it only triggers every three seconds so uh now it's every 2.3 seconds which is due to the gloves of haste and because of the 10 percent. so it was like 30 percent faster may I, getting down to two seconds would be nice honestly um but but yeah so looks like we're going to get some poison build here he's got the poison goober with the pananomium which is a little bit interesting um, I think we might out DPS him before he can get all that poison on us, though. Yippee. Yep, there we go. And then our invulnerability is, is popping off as well, which I like. Let's get the clover. Don't need anything there. We got ourselves another flute. I do want the purse. Should we get the flute, though? We don't really have space for it. Well. Hmm. Yeah, we don't really have space for it, but I think we do get it because we could put it here. And that helps us a lot, actually. Um, yeah, that helps us a lot. Likewise, I would like to put it here, but I only gains one, so maybe even not. Yeah, let's keep it there. Um, we don't really need another blue barrier. I'm satisfied with the mana regeneration unless we get a second book of light, which then getting that second blue barrier or that third blue barrier would help. But I think we're fine for now, so I'll pass on it. Um, and let's actually get the leather bag. It's getting later in the game now, so I'm a little bit scared because I would love to have a Bloodthorn right about now, right? And we're not really getting one, which is scary. Um, but uh, let's just see what happens. Hopefully, we can still take a W here and gain ourselves some, uh, some levels. Um, this looks like a fatigue build, which is horrible because, well, we do have the, the amethyst. So we do have that 30% chance. Um, wait, what? Oh, well, oh no, we have it on our, uh, I was reading it wrong. We have it on our, uh, our grace. We have the sapphire on our grace. So even with all of that shield he's about to get, there is still a chance we could kill him, especially with the crits that we got going on. We just have to get lucky and 20 damage. We didn't, we didn't get it there. We didn't get it there. Keep on going. Come on. There we go. One more. One more with that 30% chance. Come on. One more. 
One more. 30% chance. There we go. We take him down. We take him down. So, boom. Nice little W there. Thank you. Let's get that. Um, We did get another Amethyst, which will help, actually. We just got to figure out a spot to actually put this guy. Which, I honestly, I don't even know. Where do we put this? I bought you for no reason. Oh, we can put it there. Okay, that works. Um, And then we can put that there. Yep. And then we can... Actually, do we even need... We don't really need it. Because we have one in our backpack already, so we can just combine both of those. We could get our... Yeah, let's get a Kappa Resilience. And we can combine it with the Kappa Resilience. Like that. Put that there. Let's roll. Got a bird, which I like my birdies. Let's roll again. A oh, wow. Do we need two birds? Though I don't think we need two birds. Where are we even going to put the birds? Like... I don't even know where to... We're, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We're going to put the bird... We don't need two birds. Just one bird will be fine. Let's roll again. Um, ooh, another carrot. Triple carrot. I like the carrots just because of that empowerment gain, which helps us, especially considering the fact we don't have another Bloodthorn right now. Or we don't have a Bloodthorn period right now. So, I like the fact of getting another carrot. Let's get ourselves another stamina sack as well. Getting a chip sapphire could be nice, especially if we can combine right now. So I'll buy that since it's only one. And let's start. Oh my god, a poison build. Ah, uh, every time, every time I see a Reaper, it's either A, a poison build, B, a fatigue build, or C, an unhealing build. It's every time. Every single time. Um, but on the bright side, he used up his um he used up his block at the beginning of the game versus like fatigue at the end of the game. So he's not gonna have any block, and we're pretty much kind of ish tied right now kind of ish there goes our invulnerability so hopefully we can do a lot of dps here because he's got 40 poison on us which is a lot so we're going to be taking the lead so far but that poison is going to be racking up and it's going to catch up to us especially with our regeneration just not being existent so our hundred blade isn't doing anything our main form of dps is definitely going to be coming from the 14 is grace um and we should win this right about now there we go nice little w there thank you let's enter survivor mode Here's where the game actually begins. Boom. Let's combine that. Now, if we were to buy this, where would we put it is the question. We need it to affect our weapons for sure. So we could put it here. That is an option. Which I think I think we take that option out. Yeah. That's the better option. That's what we'll do. So let's buy you. And we can also buy the stamina sack. We'll put the stamina sack there. We can move the corrupted crystal there so we can actually uh, get affected by the gloves of haste. And then we could put our um what you call it right there. So now this is affecting every it's affecting our DPS, it's affecting our flute, which is good. Um, which is really good. And we don't need a third flute. I'm considering buying the flaw topaz, because that would help us, I believe. I can't believe we got this far without a bloodthorn. That is insane. We could put that there to help us out with the flute, and we can combine both of those, and then we could just put that on the side somewhere. And let's buy this to combine it with those two. Next round. And then we'll put that, like, on something. I don't know. God, how many, how many gloves of haste do you need, my friend? Jesus. Another dude rocking the, um, the hammer build. Man, pretty interesting. Pretty dang interesting. If we had the Bloodthorn here, this guy wouldn't stand a chance because our regeneration would also turn into uh, spikes. But we don't really have regeneration. We just got one. So I guess it wouldn't really matter that much. So yeah, but at least spice is going to help us a lot here. The only thing we got to worry about is more than likely that poison that he's putting on us. But the game seems to be tied so far. He's also putting on that cold as well, which is really interesting and scary. But we are... I'd say we're tied. I, I I don't think he's winning. I don't think we're winning so far. I think we're tied, but I think it's in our favor now because of the invulnerability giving us that. What is that? Two seconds? Uh, two seconds is is just enough. That's all we need is that two seconds, which is really nice. Boom. Now we can uh, combine. And we also got ourselves the, um, the blood amulet here, which we can either go for a blood goobert or we can go for the blood uh blood hands the uh vampiric gloves i think we go for a blood goober just for that life steal because that's another form of dps that we can utilize especially with the acorn collar doing that crit as well it's something we could definitely utilize so i think that's what we'll do so let's put that there that way we can turn that into a blood goober and we can get the acorn collar 
Um, let's buy that, which the acorn collar can go there for our hungry blade to increase its criticalness or whatever. <laughs> Critical chance, I guess you could say. Um, and we can put this there. We could sell this. I just want to figure out how to buy th that tope. Am I even going to use this topaz? That's the question. Am I even going to use it? I like the 30% chance to remove a, a debuff. I like that. And I also like the chance of uh, hitting directly through shield. So I don't think I'm going to use that attack faster situation. I don't think we're going to use use that. So I don't uh, maybe we just shouldn't even buy it. So the only thing we're using it for is the regeneration of stamina and then the uh, the 2% speed, which we're not even utilizing all that much. So I don't think it's worth it, to be honest. So, yeah, I think we sell that. Honestly, I wouldn't even be willing to sell this just to get ourselves a uh, a carrot. But we can't really use the carrot right now because we don't have any spot to put it. To be honest. Unless we get rid of the health potion. Health potion is not really helping us this late in the game. So, yeah, let's get rid of the health potion. Let's buy the carrot. We can put it there. That way it's getting that 20% uh, that fast because of both of the blueberries. And then that 40% fast because of the actual, like the bird um so yeah i think that's good and do we need another gloves of haste let's get it just in case we can get ourselves another vampirism which would be nice let's also get that let's sell you just so we can buy this combine that we could put that to the side since we already got the piercing arrow that'll be enough to generate enough um luck for us i believe and yeah i think that's good i think that's good <laughs> another one this is the third hammer build man the only difference this guy's got freaking dragons which is scary very scary very scary very very scary actually we might actually lose this one because of the dragons and them applying that heat situation like we're already losing you know what i mean this is an interesting one we it's our crit realistically i've got a 45 percent chance of crit um, it, we can't die here. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, that we, oh, no, 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 no. Ah, uh, yeah, we, it, phew. the dragons are just good, man. Dragons are crazy. Along with the hammer build. Man, he also had the stamina potions to back it up, too. Good game. Good game. But now we got ourselves the blood goober. That changes our build drastically. Uh, we can also, we need to figure out a way to combine both of those. So, let's combine these on the side hopefully we don't go against like an uh, like another fatigue build we could buy the ruby here just for the lifesteal right and let's get ourselves a stamina sack to put there and then we can get ourselves this guy um to make that even faster and we can also get ourselves another book of light to put somewhere because we're gonna have enough mana to generate it, I believe since we're upgrading this I believe um so yeah it could sell you let's reserve that reroll and then we also got to sell some mana orb which will help so we should definitely be able to and then we can move both of those so that we can get that crit chance on our goober which would be good get the mana orb so that I can feed both book of lights um and that'll be good oh man I wish I had me a bloodthorn must be nice being lucky and getting two blood thorns, sir, with three gloves of haste. As soon as those guys become the vampire gloves of haste, is over with. He's going to be winning every game. Um, but hopefully, as soon as our crit racks up. Oh my god, we just took 68. Oh, there's no way. 68 damage in the 70. Disgusting. Honestly, bro. This ripshaw blade is looking pretty damn nice right now. I'm going to be honest. The fact that we haven't gotten a Bloodthorn, the fact that we don't have a lot of regeneration to feed the Hungry Blade, I think we replace it with the Ripshaw Blade. I think that is the best play that we could do right now. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're replacing that with the Ripshaw Blade. The only problem is we can't really put the flute here anymore, which sucks. A lot um unless we move this guy like so move this down and then we could just do that and then we could place this flute down right there 
just to get something on him because we got to use the flute there's no way we don't use the flute right and then we can move this down about right there put the crate on both of those move the gems on to my boy and then we can move he right there we can we can yeah we can move these as well just to add a little bit more speed to the flute yeah that works out this works out that works out really really nicely actually um yeah that works out really nicely we could also buy another carrot for the sake of <laughs> for the sake of empowerment four carrots it's so like in the perfect spot too or we could put it up there yeah let's do that let's put it up there then we could buy this that's like almost in the perfect spot too oh my gosh what the heck it's getting the flute the ripshot blade and the carrot and then we'll just buy the book of light to put it wherever we want which could honestly go here once we get something up there some space i think that's solid now we got a ripshot blade instead of the blood i think that was perfect timing too oh my gosh we win this we should win this they we should his blind doesn't matter as far as the debuffs go because we have luck so we're gonna be losing a lot at the beginning as long as we can push through it ah come on invulnerability okay that'll help us out a little bit get the healing back uh no come on push through Push through vampirism. Let's go. Push through out of stamina. Come on. It's tied. We can do this. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my God. I was so close. Oh, so he did so much DPS to us at the beginning of the game. But as soon as we got rid of the debuffs, as soon as we got rid of that, as soon as we stopped being, uh, as soon as we stopped missing, it was over with. As soon as we stopped missing, it was over with, bro. It was over with. We pretty much, um, how did we even get rid of the debuffs? Hold up. I don't even know. I don't even know how we got rid of the debuffs, but we got rid of the debuffs somehow, some way, some form, some fashion. Or unless they just don't last for the entire match and they just last for that, just one portion. But pretty much, we got rid of his, his debuffs on us, making his lightsabers not do as much damage because they increase damage with blind, right? Um, and then we got rid of his regeneration. So he wasn't able to use the regeneration to inflict that seven. Um, oh, because they go they go away after five seconds. So that's that's pretty much why. Because they go away after five seconds. Interesting. Man, that was a scary one. That was a scary battle. That was a scary one. But I, I think making the change, if Ripshaw Blade won us that match because they removed the regeneration, which they gained regeneration because of this guy. So he wasn't healing as much. Um, and then the... Uh, 30% chance to remove a buff, which helped us loss a lot. Either uh, all around was good. The the gaining of mana for that, um, the invulnerability to help us live a little bit longer during that match. Oh, that was so close. That was a good game, though. That was a really good game. Um, where are we? We have to survive one round. So we could just sell our box of riches here. Just because I want the Book of Light. I really want that Book of Light. Um, invulnerability healing all w's right let's get the protective purse damn it i was hoping to get a little bit more space so we have options here we can either move the book of light where our corrupted crystal is like this and use that or we could keep it here which is another option we have i'm gonna move that there because the poison doesn't really matter at all um should we use our life steal on the ripshot blade or should we do the 50 percent chance to attack health directly on a ripshot blade the ripshot blade attacks far faster than the fortuna's grace i think we make that switch i think that switch is better just so we can get that life steal from ripshot blade and then we could uh, rely on that like critical damage double hit to hit uh the health directly we don't really care about the um mana or slowness because we get mana from this guy anyways and the slowness is just like there i guess we could sell this for three and buy a banana but we don't really have a space to put the banana i mean i guess we would have a space to put the banana actually let's let's see here 
Well, let's... Boom. Oh, now you want to give it to us. Yeah, let's see here. If we do that, we could put the banana here, theoretically speaking. Right, we could do that and put that there. And, um... That might be better than having two regeneration with a clover. Just for the healing, I guess, and then the regeneration of stamina, which we don't really care about the regeneration of stamina. We get stamina from the, yeah, we get stamina from, from everything. So the only reason we're benefiting from this is the health. That's it. The four health every five seconds versus, what is this? Two health every two seconds. Nah, I think this is better. Two health every two seconds, I think is better than one health or five or what? Four health every five seconds. And then we also get the clover plus the healing herb. I think this is better. Yeah, I think that's better. And um, we don't really have anything else to do. So now we just hope and pray we uh, we win this next one, which we're going against Bloodthorn plus a Steel Goober plus double. Oh my gosh. Hold up. I, I just need to admire this guy's build real quick. He's got... I knew they had carry gems. I was a little bit hesitant on getting me a Claws of Attack because I didn't know if they carry gems or not. But 100% chance to remove a random buff, which is actually pretty damn good, especially putting that on the Claws of Attack because of how fast the attack is actually pretty damn good. And they attack faster with Thorns, which he's gaining Thorns because of the Pineapple. But we do have a Ripshaw Blade removing that Thorns, so he's not going to be getting that increased speed and we don't really have to worry about Thorns, which is good. He's also got a Bow and Arrow. I know he wishes this was a Fortuna's Grace because of the critical or whatever, um, but yeah. That's good for us that he doesn't have that, though. He's also got the Blood Thorn, which increases damage because of regeneration and because of thorns, which Ripshaw Blade combats that. So that's a W. Um, so the only reason he's gaining any more damage with his Blood Thorn is because of the six uh, vampirism from the Vampiric Gloves and because of the two vampirism because of the Blood Amulet. That's the only reason. Other than that, he shouldn't be doing that much damage to us, I believe. We have better survivability than him, I, I think. I mean, he does have this for the uh, the 16. He also has his own Book of Light. Ours just triggered. So I, I, we definitely win this. We got another Book of Light right around the corner. There goes his Book of Light. Doesn't really matter, though, because... And there comes our Book of Light. We also got the 5 Empowerment because of the carrots. So our Ripshaw Blade is doing 13 to 15. This is doing 11 to 14. Nice little W. That was a nice little W. He, he was, we were pretty much his Crypt Knight. I, I'll take that. We were pretty much his Crypt Knight. You know what I mean? That was a good game. That was a good game. Nice little diamond game there. Let's go. I'm happy because I'm getting better. Okay, guys, I'm happy because I'm getting better. I'm I'm a diamond uh, ranger now. Diamond ranger. Boom. <laughs> hey. Oh, I didn't even see your comment there, Smith. I'm sorry. My bad. But hey, how's it going? I didn't. I didn't even see it. I'm over here freaking all up into this game right now. I didn't even freaking. 